Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. In this video we are talking about stereo feature extraction and a series of different videos um, with this topic. Today we want to talk about uh, road measurement and how we can use the parallel uh, measurement and offset for the roads in US Master. We activate our current layer. I will measure my roads in the form lines here. Right click it, set as active layer. And then we can start to measure in the stereo view. Remember to measure in the one to one resolution or better. So at the moment I'm at one to two. You can use the wheel mouse to zoom. But you can also use the F button, so with F5 we can zoom to 1 to 1. So one pixel on the screen is equal to one pixel of the original imagery. And so we can here start to digitize our uh, road. Measurement is done with the create point line functionality, which can be found in edit. And we will take a look at the tool options. As for the um, correct stereo height placement, we offer here a few options. We are allowing to use the stereo height itself, so we keep it on none, so nothing will be helped. Then we have match images. So if I activate this function and I would now click here in the stereo window, then we will make an image matching from these two images. So image 2346 and 2345. And um, the system will try automatically to place the cursor on the ground. Or in case we have a very high accurate terrain model, then we can also interpolate from the terrain height and then the placement will be uh, done by interpolation. Uh, using the terrain model and placing the cursor inside or uh, perfectly on this terrain model itself. The tool options also offer follow-up tools which we will deactivate for our purpose here. We will not need them for our road measurement. To change the height I use the right mouse button from my mouse and I drag my mouse downwards to change the height going down, as you can see here on the right lower part of our uh, menu bar, the value changed. I will now change again up the value and then you see how the height is also changing here to 534.962. As mentioned, I can also use the matching. Then if I would now here either click then the height will be automatically changed, but also my first measurement will be placed. Instead of this, we can also set a shortcut where we only do the image matching without the measurement. So this is possible in the options, preferences and shortcuts, so workspace shortcuts. And in the category events, we have here a function called match. And I will place here uh, the L button as my assignment and say OK. And then I can now press the L button. My cursor at the moment is at 534.962. Then I hit the match button and then it placed the cursor here on the road, hopefully, to 531.491 meter. Of course, you can just select an area where the matching will have a high success rate. So if I'm very close to a building, uh, the tendency can be that the cursor will not be on the ground, but perhaps on the roof. So we try more to open an open area to make this matching just to get the height. And then of course we can still place our cursor to the road border and start to measure with this height at this position. I won't use the match image function for measuring my road. I will just use the L button to uh, give me some, in some places, some help. And then I start to digitize. I can use control and right mouse button to move the screen without leaving the function. 
and I will uh, start to do my measurement in the zoom level 2 to 1. So I hit the F4 button and start to digitize here my first road point. Then we continue our measurement, always in this case here at the edge of our road and continue with control right mouse button and continue our measurement. The distances between the vertices uh, can be um, important for some cartographic mapping. Uh, some people want to digitize their roads to a specific map scale, which typically is a main factor of how far is one vertex to the next vertex placed. In this case here, um, we don't offer here automatic tools. I just finish up the road here till I reach the, s the end of the stereo model and then we will see how we can use the automatic stereo model change uh, as a help for continuation of our measurement. So here we get to the edge of our stereo model and um, as long as you have set in the options the automatic stereo model change then we will automatically move into the next stereo model without losing our line. So we just cross this orange line. As soon as we cross it then an automatic stereo model change will happen and then we can here now continue our measurement in the next stereo model and finish our line work here. Now we can use the copy parallel functionality. We can use line, edit line, copy parallel. And here we can now select the line that we want to copy. So we select this line here. You see the arrows of the line show our direction of the line, how we measured it. So I measured it from down to top. If I select this line here, then I can either manually move here the line to the other side, or as you see here on the left side, we have here an option to enter a value. And if the shift in X, Y is positive, then we will make it here in Germany typically 7.65 meters then this will be applied in a positive way so it should be to the right side which is wrong of course in my case or if we uh, enter the value in a negative part then it's to the left side so the line is then placed to the other side of our road and in my case it's too far so uh, I will here in this case just undo my two co copies, select it one more time and enter here 7 meter only and negative and apply here the copy parallel of the line. We can also shift the height. So if this is not a road, if this would be for example an uh, upper and lower brake line, which is a parallel uh, slope somewhere, then you can also copy the slope and shift it in the Z value uh, either by entering the value or by placing it. Yeah, so instead of moving the line with a value here, I can just here, of course, click and just place the line here to the other side. Um, with the 3D stereo mouse, the advantage is that the line is then fixed to my cursor and then we can height shift um, with the um, normal system mouse. This is also possible but in, uh, in this case a little bit less intuitive yeah, but you can change the height also with the right. If you keep the right mouse button pressed then the line height is also possible to be shifted. We hope this helped uh, to understand this functionality for 
uh, road measurement in US master and hope that we see you again in some of the other videos. Thank you. Goodbye.